Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, rinse that off, that cure and that sugar salt off of the uh, bacon. And uh, we're gonna bring some paper towels in and dry it completely. As you can see here, trimmed away most of the fat, just left with nice piece of cured meat. I also trimmed away the tough skin on the other side before I cured it. You can see there, it's, it's already been removed. We're going to try and get this as dry. As we can. I suggest you use a good paper towel because if not it sticks to the meat like crazy. Been there done that. Okay. There we have it. All loose fat and stuff has been removed. See it's a nice cut of bacon. Looks good. It's firm to the touch. And uh, we're ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and uh, the pancetta first. So we have our cured meat. We've mixed our spices together. We're going to go ahead and start sprinkling this on. Don't be afraid to use it. Massage that into the meat. Next we're going to roll this up, keeping the spices as much as possible inside the roll, but also we're going to roll it up and try and get it as tight as we can where there's no air inside, because with air and moisture it can cause it to mold, even though it's been cured. We don't want that. So you can tie it up. You can't tie it up too tight, so as tight as you possibly can get it. We're going to try and do this. Now, the last time I didn't get it too tight, so we're going to try a different little technique today, okay? Okay, here we go. We're going to try, I tried it at all different angles. This one looks about the best one before I went back on camera. So we're going to start here and roll and roll roll. there. We're going to tighten this also with some twine. Tie a little knot first in the beginning. Let me slip it under. I'm going to start in the middle. Over. Round. It's called a butcher's nut. Ah, cheap twine. Try that again. Maybe we'll try it with a little this twine twice. 
We're going to double the twine since it's not as strong as it should be. I'm going to go around once, back through here, grab the nut, and then as tight as you can get it. Tie that off. That's one. That'll hold it while you get the rest of them done. So we're going to pause and get a few done. Okay, here we are with my version of the wrap. We've got them spaced about an inch apart. And next we're going to, you can either put it on a meat hook and hang it on this uh, stainless steel meat hook uh, in a temperature of around, around about 55 degrees. But what we're going to do, uh, we still haven't constructed our, our uh, holding chamber yet for our meat. So what we're going to do is we're going to hang it in the refrigerator with a small pan underneath it for about uh, two weeks. And we're going to tie it up so we can actually uh, hang it inside the fridge. Okay, we'll come back with Just that. Just go up to the top here, come down, twist at the bottom one time. And then bring this string up and do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to tie that at the top. I can get you to put your finger right there, Eric. Right here. Stand it right on the nut as hard as you can. Hold it tight. Okay. That's one version. We'll be coming back at the next step. Go here. Make a loop. Pull it through. Go like that. Then we're going to twist one time with your hand. Make a loop. Bring it over and down. And pull it. And do that again. One, bring it down, then again, over, round, and pull it. Try and keep them as even as possible. Looks pretty. It's all done. Then we have the top ones. Just going to go ahead and tie that one off with that. You can continue doing that, but for the most part, there it is hanging with your string to hang it on. Okay, here's where we're going to be storing the uh, pancetta. We haven't finished our drying cabinet yet. But as you can see, there it is hanging from the rack right there. We'll allow it to stay there for a few weeks until it dries out. Then we'll show you what it looks like or we'll keep you up to date of the progress of it. There you have it. Those are the beer kegs. Siberian crude stout. Mm. All right, here it is. Until next time.